bait. <laughs> hey, are you ready for some summer camp? The Wild Wizard is ready for your kids. Summer yeah. camp at the Edison and Ford Winter Estates. Inventors Summer Camp. So yeah. I'd imagine a lot of science is going on at Tons the summer camp. Tons of science camp, all right? throughout. And uh, yeah, lots of science and fun. We also mix some art in there. We do a lot of play. We run around and all that. But uh, we have tons of new stuff, new topics every single week. And uh, what we're doing here today is we're actually going to be making root beer, which we do in two of our camps. We have a super solar camp, and we also have a kitchen chemistry wow. camp. Wizard and making root beer. the camps, yeah. there's different subjects every week. So you can sign up for one week, two weeks, or however summer. many Absolutely. weeks. So you can pick and choose. Yeah, all throughout. And uh, also one of our popular camps are movie making camps. So we have a movie making summer camp, and these are actually in the schools right now. So this is how you sign yeah, up I for the I see that. Well, camp. Thomas Edison invented the movie projector, right? He did, absolutely. Oh, there, and, uh, he there, there he is. There he is right there inventing it. With Eastman, right? And uh, there's the movie camera. And so the students will actually get cameras, they actually write their own stories, and they make the movies. You can see them doing it right there. And then uh, when they make the movies, every Friday we invite the parents to the camp uh, earlier so we can watch the movies. I we do the go red, to that camp. red carpet. Let's go. Where do we yeah. sign up? Right we sign there. Up? Look at that. It's in every uh, school right in Lee County. There you go. Okay. You know what I love about Edison? It's it's interesting is that he really his love for science started at a very early age. Yeah. You could be teaching some young I've, Edison. I have met many of them. You I've think met many so? young Edisons when they come through the camp and uh, we've been doing this for many years now and uh, we have a lot of kids that come back and return and uh, a lot of kids that are older actually volunteer too. They Eager volunteer. engineers, that's what you call them. Absolutely. Now, did, actually, I miss, did I miss this in the history book? Did Thomas Edison invent root beer? He didn't invent root beer, but we're going to make it. Okay. So, That's I mean, good. it's just for fun. I bet he would have loved it as a cold <laughs> yeah. beverage. In Absolutely. The he actually drank a lot of milk. Which, he uh, did? Doesn't if really someone apply. would have asked, if someone uh, getting the dry ice down there, yeah. someone would have asked him to invent it, I'm sure he could have said it. We should yeah, go over there to, and see his laboratory, Carly. He's got a cot right there in his laboratory. So he would, you know, you just pull down a McDonald's something. bag. It's to keep it from sublimating. So, it's <laughs> okay. a, what is this? So, this is the dry ice here. Now, you can't touch it because it's uh, minus 79 degrees Celsius. And look, hold on, you can see, I can make it snow. Uh, a little bit. <laughs> Jamie Cagle just wrote, woke up from his nap. He has a cot too, just like Thomas Edison. <laughs> so here we're going to put it in here now. What's what in that already? I just water. See it. So just we have a, water. we have a gallon of water. What we want right. to do is we want to put a gallon of water and a pound of dry ice. Now dry ice is frozen carbon dioxide. Ooh! So you can see it bubbling. Ah! <laughs> so, so you go. Ah! Yeah, that's what you, and this is how you do the effects in movies too. With it. Ooh! Ooh. Ooh. I know. Do that again, Wild Wizard. Ah! Like of course, wow. you really don't want to sneeze in the root beer. I mean, no. people want to. People want to drink it later. So here we also have two cups of sugar. There's always a lot of sugar in root beer, and uh, so it's not very healthy. This but is it's for one glass. That's drinkable? This is for one gallon. So You're it's kidding. One, this, this is drinkable. You can Carly's actually do gonna this. drink this. And <laughs> so you put wow. in your sugar here, Whoa. and we, like I said, we do this on Fridays. We have two camps where we do it on Fridays, and uh, the parents can come out and enjoy it. We have solar cookouts using solar ovens. Now, and what stuff camp like that. is this? Uh, this is solar, super solar science super and kitchen solar. chemistry. Okay. All right. So here we talk More about more dry ice. <laughs> Jeez. Can you put uh, too wizard. much dry ice in it? <laughs> you can't have too, you can't put too much in too there. Rich, too thin, or have too much dry ice. You want to sneeze in there? Yeah. Hey! Woo! Whoa! Look at that. And we can teach. And the kids have already gone through uh, mixing stuff together, making Woo. slime, and doing all the fun stuff. So they start. They can explain to the parents how this stuff works. They can talk about sublimation. They can say how the this gets carbonated. It and makes of course, the parents feel. Uh, <laughs> Carly had they this. Already in, gone over. Carly had this at her nice wedding when she came it. down the aisle. Remember that, Carly? <laughs> Here comes Carly the bride. <laughs> that would be cool. Right? Yeah. Right? See, so here we'll, we'll, All right, what is this? This is root beer flavor. Oh, that's what makes it root beer. There you go. So we have the root beer flavor. There was a root beer flavor. Yeah, you can actually get either. it from any store. You can put it. And you can see it's very specific measurements. Um, <laughs> can you put too much of the flavoring in You it? can actually put too much okay. in it. It's supposed to be one ounce. I think Stir I just it added up. two ounces. That'll be fine. <laughs> and then, uh, so right now we want to make sure that the sugar dissolves and we make sure that the uh, all the the carbon dioxide goes in the soda and it's going to be carbonated. One trick Ooh, though. Oh, I smell it. It yeah. does. It smells it does. like root beer. And it's actually oh, really it good. Did you yeah. go to school for this? Do you have a license, by the way? <laughs> <laughs> Could you show actually, me? I did. I went to school for filmmaking and animation. That's where the filmmaking and animation comes oh, in. So you teach that too. I teach that too. We have animation. We have filmmaking. This is all during the summer. And uh, make sure you never put anything you know, tight on there. But this will keep the, the pressure in there. And this is Henry's law. You know, Henry's law says that if you keep oh, the yeah. pressure on there, yeah, you know, of course, it'll dissolve the gas inside the water. And yeah, of course, do you have a need for anybody to come over to the camp and do that? <laughs> sure, if you want to do that, I need a that'll, job. that'll be your job. Are you guys get up there? I, mean, I thought we needed no. to close. Well, you can get some pressure on there. Of course, you never want to seal it because then it builds up too much pressure. And but then right here, explode. and that would not be good. And you know, then you have another camp, the exploding camp, which kids would want. <laughs> so, they, how long does it take to actually make the root beer and have the the finished yeah, product? Yeah, we're only to an hour show. I know, it's so forty five minutes. So uh, what forty five minutes. I know, I know. But what, what we can do is let, let's see how we'll do tastes right now. And, uh, I don't know. I don't know if I want to try it. Bill, I'll, I'll let you not... try this here. Okay, good. Now, of course, you don't want to try it, and this is completely sublimated at home, but we'll let Bill try it here. <laughs> okay. um, I love it. So there you go. 
Mmm. Mmm. That's not bad. Yeah. Is it cold? You serve a meal. This, it actually gets really cold. Wow, that's a really close so up shot of my face. <laughs> <laughs> So it will be carbonated, it will be cold, and it will be ready to drink when the parents show up for our uh, solar cookout. All right, over. so how do you want kids and parents to register for this? Do they still have time? Summer's coming Absolutely. up. Absolutely, and actually we're doing great with registration right now, but uh, like I said, if you find that uh, flyer in your school here, this is actually in all the schools in Lee County. We sent them out earlier. Do you have so, to have that flyer, though? Uh, no? You can, can go you online, too. Okay. You can go online and, and check out our website and download it, but uh, you do have to sign it to bring it back in. And the cool thing, thing, again, is you can just do a week, two weeks, or do the entire summer. And what Absolutely. are the, I know a lot of parents seem to know what time the camps are. Yeah, so it's 9 to 4 each day. Um, 9 to 4. And day. like I said, on Fridays, we, we usually invite the parents around 2 or 3 o'clock, depending on what we're doing. We'll do rocket launches on Friday. We do red carpet for the movies. We'll do an animation festival for our animation. So every Friday, parents, grandparents, family can come and enjoy it as much as Bill is enjoying it right now. <laughs> yes. Look at this. It's a talking canister. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Come to the Edison Estates. Ta-da. Right here. Ta-da. 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 Oh, have you seen that Jamie Cagle do the Fox Heart cast? <laughs> <laughs> So was it good? It was great. Well, Wild so, Wizard, thank you I'll so much. Well, Sounds like you. a lot of fun yeah, coming up for the summer. So. <laughs> I'll take two. All right, have another one. It's there good Friday. Yeah, you guys drink that. Very We're going to go to, to Jamie. Yeah. Yeah. You want Kegel. some, Jamie? Kegel, you need some root beer. <laughs> he's going to have a root beer, and then he's got the Easter forecast. <laughs>